the Premier Gravel Show, and I'm excited here to be joined with Whitney Allison. Now, Whitney, you are uh, fresh off a lot, a little bit of travel, and the last time uh, we spoke with you was at Unbound. How have things been going? They've been good. I've been uh, feeling like I'm time traveling through 2021. All the things <laughs> yeah. are back up and running. So it's a little fast paced, huh? <laughs> You're kind of picking up the speed here? Yeah. Spent some time um, at home, kind of getting ready for my own event, which I'm running next weekend. I okay. Utah to do Brodeo, which was super fun. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, just preparing for Belgian Waffle Ride. Awesome. And this is your first time here uh, at the Belgian Waffle Ride in San Diego, correct? Correct. I have been an instructor for the Belgian Waffle Ride survival oh. camps for three years, but ironically, okay. I've never done it. And therefore, I've also never pieced together all the sessions. Oh, all the sessions. Like, but you've had, work. you've seen some of them then, yes, right? Okay. I have seen so a little inside scoop. Um, so coming here, you you just joined uh, the burrito ride, right? You're in kit and you joined this burrito ride with maybe it was like 200 cyclists, maybe 100 cyclists. Um, what do you think about this vibe so far since you've been here? Things are getting set up and um, we've got this this blend of the mountain bikers, roadies, gravel. Like, what's your take? I mean, I think it's great. Like there's, I don't, I cannot imagine 4,000 people <laughs> starting on Sunday. That is a little bit hard for me to yeah, comprehend yeah. right now. Um, but the energy is really good. The expo is just about to open now. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see it all keep unfolding. Awesome. And so when we take those 4,000 riders out, the women, this is really cool for the event. This is the first time we've done this, that there's a separate starting staging pod of women racers. Um, is that something that you're excited about? I'm super excited to see that. Um, I think it can lend a totally different outcome for the women to all start together. I think with us starting five minutes back, the question that I'm still running into is, will we be catching those men before the dirt or right. during the dirt? How is that going to change the women's strategy? Obviously, draftability is a huge component to a long event, so there would be an advantage there. But I mean, we'll just see what the women want to do and kind of base the strategy off of that. And I like you brought that up, Whitney, is what the women want to do. What I've kind of seen in the gravel that uh, the women are uniting. Uh, it seems like, you know, if I look, you're the only one in this kit for this event. And if I look at, you know, the top 30 riders that are joining the women, um, it's almost like everybody's a privateer. There's not a ton of teams here, but it sounds like you ladies are working well together to unite. Like, this is what we want our racing to be like. Yeah, I mean, I think that we have to do that. Um, obviously, you know, men are, you know, that 10% faster than women right. overall. And so therefore we have to define what we want to happen for yeah. us to race. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, looking at going into, you spoke a little bit uh, about this before, like we have mountain bikers, we have the roadies and everybody looks at the event a little differently. So do you think the strategies, it's going to be pretty diverse? It's going to be super diverse. Like I think of myself coming from like that road background where I would also have an entire team of maybe six riders. Right. And I would, you know, we would know how to use each of our strengths to have a yeah. very specific yeah. outcome. But now right. I'm taking that knowledge of road strategy and as an individual, how can I manipulate the outcome of the race based right. on my skills? And a mountain biker is going to look at it very differently as well because they're used to their own strategies for those events. So I think that that is like really cool because everybody's yeah. going to be like duking it out with like their own experiences <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and then we're going to find out who yeah. wins. And it's not as like on the road, it's like, well, we're going to have a lead out here for the sprint points. It's very um, more scripted. And I think here it's kind of open. Um, and, and you said something really interesting uh, earlier about what you look at on your on your headset, right? As, as far as like, are you staring at your watts while you're out there riding or what are you looking at? So <laughs> at least at Unbound, I didn't look at time or power or any of that sort of stuff for the entire event. Okay. I only had the screen pulled up for directions and for mileage. Got it. Um, I think here I'll probably, because there's a lot more climbing aspects, I will probably have like the topo and mileage pulled up okay. and then I'll base like my fueling strategy off of that. Um, especially like with the climbing, I think that you have to really give a lot of consideration for extra nutrition and hydration, like especially yeah. during the longer climbs. Well, that's good. And that's so smart. And that, that's kind of a testament to, you know, your history in the industry and your time. Like 
you've had to fail at some point of like, I did not eat enough. All the time. <laughs> but, but having those reminders, like I need to eat. Yeah. Um, I think that's gonna, you know, when you just did this burrito ride, hopefully you got the burrito with the Ilil partnered and sponsored for that. I did. Okay, you got that food in, but um, you're out there maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. Were you sweating? I was sweating a ton. It, it's crazy. It's so much more humid than at home. Yeah, so you're from Fort Collins, so you're, you know, high Colorado like mm -hmm. plains, and here we're, we're coastal. So this marine layer, you probably expended a lot more sweat than usual. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Well, so now you're prepared. And if we kind of foreshadow to Sunday, um, with all of these cool events we have happening here that you're able to partake in, um, what are you, what are your expectations for the big day? I hope that the women are able to have a really clean race okay. and we can duke it out over some of these really key features. Um, obviously like a lot of people, I would love to be in contention for the win. Good. But you know, all I can do is my best and yeah. take my strategy that I yeah. know um, and try to see how that how that happens. Awesome. Well, that's good. And so, before we kind of wrap up, what's the big event next week? My event is Boca Fondo. It's in Fort Collins, Colorado, okay. from New Belgium. Okay. Um, New Belgium Brewing. Some people just call it Fat Tire. Yeah. Okay. Got it. My name is New Belgium. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so next year, hopefully, it won't be as close to Belgium Off Ride, California, but it's super fun. We have a lot of focus on new athletes. Awesome. Cool. And so, what distances do you guys provide? We have a 12 mile awesome. one, which is geared for a family. So okay. We donate to Safe Routes to School, which runs these um, free after school bike clubs for kids. Especially oh, wow. In schools that are of lower economic status, okay. so kids have access to sport. Um, we have a 25, 50, and then the 107 bike bullet challenge. Oh, nice. I love it. That's a great diversity and really welcoming. So hopefully put that on the calendar next year for some <laughs> of us. Uh, it's, a, it's a quick shift, but thank you for spending time with us today. And you're going to be wearing this kit, the bike sports? Bike sports, on, Okay, yeah. so you're going to be easy to find. Yeah. Um, we're going to have great coverage of the women. We're going to have a moto with you ladies, um, kind of watch how it all gets thrown down and, and we're going to be waiting very excitedly as you to, to exit the sectors to see how it's kind of shaken out in the dirt. Yeah. So thank you for joining us, Whitney. Good luck.